Thanks for watching. There's an effort to generate more housing in Vigo County. Tonight, the County Council discussed a project that could address that issue. For the first time, council members heard details about a proposed $5 million housing initiative with Thrive West Central. Will Price was there tonight, and Will, how close is this project to really becoming a reality? Yeah, Mike, it looks like it is just one week away. That's when the council will vote, putting an end to this step in a lengthy process that started over a year ago. The finish line is finally in sight, and it was far from the only proposal that was discussed. Talk to any realtor, anybody, any young person or, or person that wants to move in, there is just not anything to buy. Housing was at the top of mind for the Vigo County Council on Tuesday as they got more information from Thrive West Central on a proposed $5 million project. Those details include the timeline and exactly how the funds will be used, with most of the money going towards implementing new units in Vigo County. Council member Marie Thies says she was most impressed with the scope. It takes into account all different types of housing, uh, different income levels, and what I really liked about it too um, is it looks at the potential of first home buyers that maybe have difficulty um, getting into that next step of having a, a first time home. County officials have have discussed this for years, and with new developments like NTech looking to bring hundreds of new jobs, Commissioner Mark Clinkenbeard hopes to see growth as soon as possible. And with all the new jobs we have coming, it's imperative that we have them living here and paying property taxes here as opposed to living, you know, in Plainfield or whatever and driving over, which is what some of them are doing. Thies says they are also looking to start a committee alongside Terre Haute officials, as the city is also investing $5 million for housing, that will consist of community members who can help steer the project in the coming years. The city and county are are putting a significant investment into it and our goal is to have a uh, committee that will be a work um, together uh, as we move forward with people from a variety of aspects of the community. Now the other projects discussed in, in, involved trail improvements and an innovation grove for Rose Holman which totaled a combined cost of 1.5 million. Now all three of these projects are funded by the American Rescue Plan Act, which is a federal program established during the pandemic. Mike. All right.